Hello, welcome back to Vivindec. In this video, I will show you how to create a SQL database and a storage account. Now we are on the home page of Azure portal. Let's start creating a storage account first. Let's go to storage accounts. Click on add button. Now we are on a page where we can configure our storage account settings. First of all, I'll create a new resource group for the storage account. I'll name it as sales testing. Click on OK. Give a name for storage account. And I'll select the location as Korea Central. I'll leave the performance as standard and account kind as storage v2 and I will change the replication to locally written in storage and I'll change the access tier to cool. The settings or the configurations like replication and performance and account kind can be changed according to the requirement that you have. If you want to replicate the storage account or the data in your storage account across multiple regions for availability then you can select geo redundant storage or read access geo redundant storage for now i selected locally redundant storage let's move to networking and under connectivity method i have selected public endpoint which is the default one if you want to restrict the access for your storage account to a limited number of people you can select either public endpoint with selected networks or a private endpoint as your connectivity method. Let's move to data protection. I'll leave them as defaults. Let's move to tags. Let's re review and create the storage account. The validations are in progress. If the validations are passed, then we can go ahead and create it. So the validations are passed now. We'll start go creating the storage account. This might take a couple of moments to create the storage account. Meanwhile, we will start creating a SQL database. Let's go to home. Click on SQL databases. I'll click on add button. I will select the resource group that was created earlier which is sales testing. I'll give the database name as sales source. I already have a server in place. I'll select the server. It is Vivin. I'll select the DTUs based on my requirement. Since this is a testing database, I'll select the basic version. Click on apply. Let's move to networking. This is fine. Go to next. Additional settings, tags. So everything looks fine. Let's review it and create. So one thing that everyone needs to remember is that when creating a SQL database, it will be costed per month. But when you're creating a SQL data warehouse, it will be charged on an hourly basis. So always make sure what is the estimated cost and also whether it is being charged monthly or an hourly basis. So uh, I'm fine with this. I'll go ahead and create the database. This might also take a couple of moments to create the database. So let's check the status of both the resources. So here it says the resource group sales testing was successful. So our contain our storage account is in place. Now we can go ahead and place some files by creating a container in the storage account. Let's go to storage accounts. Let's select the storage account. This is the storage account that we have created earlier. Let's select a container. Click on add a container. We'll name it as sales. 
that is fine click on create so we have a container in place so this container will hold all the files that we will be dropping or picking up we can upload the files to blob manually i'll show you a sample i'll upload a csv file to this blob location click on folder so this is the csv file that i'm talking about i'll upload it and i'll select overwrite if files already exist so if there is a file uh, named so and so that have already that is already in place it will over overwrite the existing file that is fine upload yeah it's been uploaded that's it so this is how you will be creating a storage account and you can how you can use blob to store files in the later videos we will see how to move data from sql database to storage accounts and also from storage accounts to sql databases or data warehouses using azure data factories thank you for watching